or whatever day of the week it is for you. Um, for those of you uh, who have been here for a little bit, you might notice some different things happening. Some different vibes, maybe? Uh, <laughs> Uh, there are shelves and I built them and we're not, we don't feel great about, no, I shouldn't say that. Do we have questions about the stability of the shelves? Maybe, maybe, but that is neither here nor there. <laughs> I've got the Nendroid that the mods gave me and this little Lumine, which Apparently, when her her eyes look different colors depending on the lights, which is kind of interesting and maybe a little creepy, but mostly interesting. Um, okay, for everybody who's wondering um, what we're doing today, we are going to save Nahida. We just finished. Um, we're continuing in the Sumeria story quest, and uh, the last that we finished, um, uh, we had like finally everybody was trusting each other. We figured out the thing with the village keepers. Now we're moving to go save Nahida. Um, yes, for anyone who's wondering, I did uh, make these shelves with an IKEA drill. Um, and as I as I said, you know, to some of the mods, um, the IKEA drill, it's more of an idea of a drill. Do you know what I mean? Like it's. It's an idea <sighs> cosplaying as a drill. So, um, See the yeah, hopefully these don't fall on my head while we are live. That would be super embarrassing. <laughs> Before we get started, I do want to thank my mods. Thank you to Archie and Brandon and Crazy and Chris and Diamond and Crammon and Xander. Thank you so much to all of my wonderful, amazing mods. Uh, as a reminder to anyone who hasn't been here in a little bit, if you do a super chat or a donation for more than five US dollars, um, the my dog, Remy, gets a treat, but I'm actually watching another dog, Baby, so both dogs will get a treat. Uh, so yeah, I actually, many, many of the brackets did have to be um, finished attached to the wall with a screwdriver. So again, we've got questions. We've got questions. Will Sarah survive the night? Hard to say. Uh, oh yeah, who am I? My name is Sarah Miller Cruz. I'm the English voice of Lumin in Genshin Impact. I also voice Layla in Mobile Legends. And I voice um, Angela in Charles and Mana and Caitlin and Roxanne in Pokemon Masters. Yay! So, uh, that is that. So we are going to, wow, someone is like really talking a lot. It's kind of distracting me. Uh, 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 I might get more plants for back here. These are kind of sparse plant-wise. Do, 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 that's not the right way. Do, 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 do. And next week we're gonna do Lantern Rite. Do, 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 do. Uh, what else is there to say? Did you add brackets to support in the middle of the shelves? Why don't I just, I'm just gonna move aside and you can see the shelves for yourself. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> These are them. These are they. <laughs> These are they. They exist. They're here. These? Okay, this is a stud, like running. What if I had just knocked it completely over? Running this way, and then there's a stud running this way. However, <laughs> however, there was one screw that just like went straight into the wall that makes me think it didn't, it was not in a stud, but all the others were. So I think I was like right on the edge. Anyway. <laughs> Um, hopes and prayers, thoughts and prayers. <laughs> thoughts and prayers for me and my cranium with the shelves behind me. I forget, do any of the mods have 
have, like, I don't know. Are any of the mods, like, really, like, um, like, handy? Do you know what I mean? Like, do any of the mods, like, they're like, I'm a professional IKEA builder. <laughs> IKEA furniture builder. <laughs> don't worry, we'll change to Dendro. Um. Supremus, that's true. Brandon is. Um, basically, Brandon's a dad. Brandon's a dad, so as far as I'm concerned, he's also an architect and a construction worker and also a professional everything. Um, and Crammon says, um, Crammon is a self-proclaimed IKEA furniture expert builder. So, again, as far as I'm concerned... As far as I'm concerned, we have two mods who have said this is going to be fine. You know what I mean? So they said that. So legally, legally, these shelves are not allowed to fall. Um, that's so that's all I have to say about that is we've got two mods. They're experts in their field. <laughs> They're experts in their field. And they said this was fine. So, um, I feel safe. I feel safer already. <laughs> Kram is like, wait, I'm actually an engineer. <laughs> oh, Kramen. Kramen, do you feel like your engineering degree? You feel like you can say with certainty that this is fine. <laughs> From through the computer. Be honest with me, Grimmin. Don't lie. Yeah, and Archie, Archie doesn't live in the US. Archie says it's fine, therefore, international law as well, they're legally not allowed to fall, and if they do, I can sue them. That's what I just heard. So, did y'all hear that too? Did y'all hear that too? Because that's what I heard. Archie said, you know, internationally those have to stay. So, as far as I'm concerned, if they fall and hit me, I can sue them. And it's a war crime. <laughs> so, it actively violates the Geneva Convention. That's what I just heard. That's what I just heard. And I feel like we all witnessed it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think we were all there. We all heard it. We all absorbed it. <laughs> and um, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Archie says, this one is for the best of 2023. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, the best of 2022 video is hopefully going to be done soon. The dream is that it will be done before the end of January. Fingers crossed. Um, and we are going to do um, a watch party. So we're going to have a watch party. I'm going to watch it live with y'all. We're going to chit chat about it as it's playing. Um, those of you who don't know me, um, you might not know this about me if you don't know me. <laughs> Those of you who don't know me, uh, I don't know why I said that. You might not know this about me, but I am a movie talker. In the sense that, in the sense that, hold on, in the sense that, I have questions a lot of the time. I get confused. And sometimes the people watching with me are like, I also haven't seen the movie, Sarah. Why do you think I would know? And my response is, maybe there's a clue I missed. Maybe we understand. You know what I mean? Maybe you're getting some subtext that I missed. I'm just asking. I just have questions. It's not a big deal. You know what I mean? So. We're doing a watch party. I will probably talk the whole way through it. No, I will try to be quiet. We might have to pause it. I don't know. But it's also going to go up on uh, my channel at the same time, maybe. 
maybe earlier. I don't know. I have to ask Chris because Chris is our mod who is um, my, uh, my honorary YouTube expert. Um, I'm sure several, I'm sure lots of the mods are YouTube experts, but um, so I will ask all of them. I'll ask all of the YouTube expert mods and we'll decide what we're doing. But yes, that's it. Y'all, listen, okay, I have to, I'm sorry, I have to go, we have to start the Sumeria story quest, but this is making me think of something else I'm just gonna say right now. Did you see the movie Dune? Did you see that movie? Did you see the movie Dune? I, the whole movie, the whole movie, I was like, who's that? What's that? What's happening? And my friend who was watching with me with me read the books or the book and not dune 2 the first one the first dune movie the one with timothy chalamet and the whole time the whole time i was like who is that what's that where are we what is going on and my friend who had read the book was like answering questions for me, but I was like, how? How was I supposed to know that information if I didn't like read the book or something? How, 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 how? I don't think I'm saying any spoilers. I feel like I'm, I don't think I've said any details because I can't really remember any. <laughs> and, Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Last thing and then we'll get started. Okay, last thing, last thing, last thing, last thing, last thing. Okay. Did you see the movie Ford versus Ferrari? Who has seen the movie Ford versus Ferrari? Who has seen it? In the chat, tell me. Because. Because. I saw this movie in theaters okay in the movie theater in the movie theater and I was so stressed out I was so it's based on actual events it's based on historical events okay it's about a race it's about an f1 race okay I was so stressed out about what was gonna happen that I literally put my jacket over my head and pulled my phone out so I could Google the ending. <sighs> In the movie theater. I... I had to know. I had to know. In my defense, I turned the light really low and I was underneath my jacket, so no light was escaping. But then I couldn't find the ending because it didn't exist online because I wasn't Googling the right things. And I was just stressed the whole time. And I was whispering questions to my friend. Anyway, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. <laughs> it's just more chaos like this the whole time. Okay. Um, quick question. Uh, what's happening? Oh no. This is not the right thing. Is this it? I have not been playing. <laughs> not the mods being shocked that I was Googling the ending. They've watched a movie with me. The mods have watched a movie with me and they know I'm, I'm talking, I'm asking questions the whole time. <laughs> uh, may fortune find you. Okay, so I just have to do that every day. Okay. 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 We are gonna start the Sumeru story quest. Uh, here we go. The mods are shocked. They're like, 
Sarah Googling the ending? They shouldn't be, though. <laughs> I'm moving this way so I'm more central. All right, it's time to save Nahida 20 minutes into the stream. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ooh, Nahida, Nahida. Okay, who's ready? I'm ready. <sighs> okay. Look how cute she is. I'm obsessed. Let's see if I can show you the different colored eyes thing. Look, depending on the way her head is turned. Don't her eyes look like a different color? Isn't that cool? Okay. <laughs> Glenn said, if only I could Google whether you smack into this shell. <laughs> if I was watching this stream, honestly. <laughs> I would. I would. I would, if we're being honest. Okay, here we go. Candace! Candace, we're here! Has everyone arrived? Everyone is already waiting inside. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them! Let's join them! Please. Wait a moment. Oh. What's the matter? Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. What do you need? Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. Hmm? Hmm. What do you think? Sure. I'll try not to. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, actually, wait, there's one more thing. I know I keep being like, we're gonna start, we're gonna start. <laughs> but I was talking with Kramen and Xander hey, <laughs> earlier today, to you own. and I was like, the stream is called Let's Find the Hita. <laughs> but, wait, that's not what I wanna do, but, <laughs> <laughs> Let's find the heat up. Time to broaden the horizons. We again. found her. Ah, <laughs> uh, we found her. Yay, the heat up. We don't have to save her anymore because she's already here. Look, we saved her. The heat up has been saved. The end. <laughs> what if I had actually done that? <laughs> what if I had just ended the stream? <laughs> we saved her. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that was good. That was um, Xander and Kramen's idea. <laughs> Credit goes to them. <laughs> no need to save her. She's right here. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna end the stream. Uh, we did it. <laughs> okay. Okay, but we really have to take Nahida out because she is, in fact, level one. So, um, you know, we can't, we can't leave her out. She's level one. So, um, 
that's bad. For those of you who don't know, that's not good. She will... She will not be doing well if I keep her out. Okay. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay, we have to put Venti back. Ready for a rehearsal? Yeah! Okay. Let's go! <laughs> uh, and the mods got me a stream deck, but I haven't um, set it up. I also want y'all to know that I realized after last stream that I was calling it a steam deck. <laughs> That's a different thing. Isaac's here! Everybody say hi, Isaac! Isaac is my real-life twin brother. Hi, Isaac! Isaac says, nice shelf. Looks so stable. Thank you. People are wondering if I'm going to smack my head into it. <laughs> People are wondering if I'm going to give myself a concussion. But we did decide, Isaac, we did decide um, several of the mods. Um, one mod is an engineer. One mod is a dad. So they said it's not going to fall. And therefore, legally, the shelves can't fall. So, you know. Um... That feels like it'll hold up in court to me. <laughs> That's so funny. Isaac, I'm so glad you stopped by. <laughs> Isaac says, you'll definitely knock a plant off at some point. Well, maybe. But what if I don't? <laughs> what if I didn't? <laughs> Um, also, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe because when I hit 100,000 subscribers, my real life twin brother Isaac is going to play Genshin with me. Dun dun dun. We'll have to see which twin he picks. We'll have to see. We will have to see. <laughs> okay, we are continuing the Sumeru story quest. Okay. Everyone's here so early! But. Why isn't anybody talking? Okay, quick pause. Quick pause. Um, also, I hope that y'all are appreciative of the warning I gave you last time where I was like, we're gonna go back to our roots and I'm gonna stop being so worried about hurrying through the quests and I'm gonna just take the breaks that I wanna take and go on the tangents I wanna go on. How come every time we come into this room with these particular people, they're all awkwardly sitting at a table in silence together? Do you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, every time. Why is Paimon surprised? Because literally every time Alhatham and Sino are together, there is an uncomfortable silence. <laughs> they're never not sitting in silence. It's 100% of the time they are sitting in silence until the traveler arrives. <laughs> we already discussed things a bit. Did you? I think you're lying. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. Are you ready? We can start now. Very well. Very well. Okay. Okay, a detailed you plan to save Nahida. Work? I gotta admit. It's bold. Tell me impressed. It's bold! Hmm. It's worth a try. The point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. Agreed. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. Candace! You're finally done. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Bye, Come on, Dia. don't give me that face. Oh. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. That's what I wanted to hear. Aww. Take care. We love you, Dia. And you too, Candace. Well, Traveler, Paimon, judging from your expressions, the meeting must have been quite productive. You can tell? I'm not that good at scheming a strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. And based on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. 
I don't exactly know how to pronounce this word. I don't remember pronouncing it in the character menu. We might have, and I've just forgotten. Is it... Do we know if it's... Gen Genargba? Gar Garba. Garba? Genargba. I don't know. Oh, it's Nya. It's like a Nya. See, I don't think I said this. I feel like I've never seen, I've never said this word in the game. I would not have gotten that correct if I had just had to guess. Okay, y'all are saying it's Niagarba. Niagarbaha. Niagarbaha. I did it! Right? Oh, is it Niagarbaha or Niagarbaha? I don't know. Is it in the character menu? <laughs> Did someone, does someone say it? <laughs> Should we search for it? <laughs> mm. Oh, everyone maybe is confused. Okay, we're gonna go with Niagarbaha. We're gonna go with Niagarbaha. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I said this though. In the quest archives. What is that? Well, I can't go to it now, but we'll check later. Okay, we're gonna say, we'll make our move on the next Niagarbaha day. Uh, Paimon's a little worried. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. To be honest, I feel the same. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. So you have my trust. <laughs> Candace gave us a compliment. Aw, hey, thanks, Candace. Candace, we stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. Mm-hmm, we will. I'm very glad to hear that. I've said the same thing to everyone here today as I said to you when you arrived. Your safety is the most important thing. Candace! Only when you're safe can the plan be successful. So please, take care. Thank you, Candace. You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. Good luck. With everything. I'll be here in the village praying for you. Dun dun dun! Meet up with I'll hate them. Okay. Uh, speaking of I'll hate them, who here is has pulled on I'll hate them? And also, how long is that banner even available for? Archie, did you finally get I'll hate them? I can't wait for y'all to see. Oh. Scatter! Scatter! I can't wait for y'all to see the I'll hate them character teaser reaction video. Um, Erica and I made. Where I was like, is I'll hate them? Animo, it's so bad. Y'all are gonna roast me alive. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, no! It's Dendra, I know, I forgot, but I know. Uh, I know. Uh, Y'all call him Dendra Daddy. I know this, I don't know why. Sometimes my brain just like doesn't. <laughs> Sometimes my brain just like forgets things. But that video is um not going to come out until after the best of 2022 video that has precedence and then hopefully the other one will come out we'll see um yeah except that i learned last week that y'all call him hank or hal not hank hal <laughs> i call him hank 
Because y'all call him Hal. <laughs> I call him Hank because after I found out that y'all call him Hal, I thought Hank was really funny. So I call him Hank now. <laughs> Hal Hank him. <laughs> Hank! Who's Hank? That's Hank. Hank is the type of person who just wants you to see just part of his biceps, but only on one arm. Hank is the type of person who likes to read while walking. <laughs> okay, but I, I joke, but I actually used to do that. <laughs> I used to like, when I'd be reading a book, if it was a good book and I was like walking somewhere like to class, I would like read my book while I was walking. So I can't, I can't make fun of El Haytham too bad. I can't make fun of Hank too bad, too much. Cause I would, I definitely did that. Uh, but um, yeah, me and Hank, we like to read while walking. I'll Hank him. <laughs> okay, we have to go talk to Hank. Hmm, sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. Okay. I'll hit them! Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yeah! Also, Candace told everyone to be careful. Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. must go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. Look beyond what you can see, Hank. <laughs> I hope this is clear to you. I understand and accept. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Didn't we already do that during the meeting? You can never have enough words of encouragement. Literally! In that case... Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue oh! to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. Okay. Literally, literally, Hank is like, okay, do you know how you, like, have a friend who's, like, like, too maybe positive? Okay, actually, that's probably me. Uh, but, no, not too positive. But, like, you have your friends who are like, no, like, we can do it. I feel like Hank is the type of person who is, like, like, worst case scenario all the time. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That you're like, oh, man, I'm, like, really nervous for this test I have to take tomorrow. And Hank is like, yeah, well, you'll probably fail it. You Like, no positive encouragement. He's like, I would rather be kind of mean to you <laughs> and temper your expectations <laughs> than give you false hope. <laughs> wow. Is that why y'all like him so much? Because he's kind of mean to you? Be honest. Be on, look yourselves in the eyes right now. Look in your hearts. Is the reason y'all like him because you know he'd kind of be mean to you? <laughs> be honest. <laughs> Not y'all being like, don't expose us. Is this real? Because I feel like this is why. I feel like y'all kind of like him because you know he'd be like a little mean to you. <laughs> oh, some people, oh, some people are like, no, it's because he's hot. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Look, if you're, if you like him because he's hot, like, that's fine. You do you. You like who you want to like. I'm just saying. Just think about it. <laughs> He's really honest. Do we feel like he's honest? Is he being honest? Because if he's being honest, the honest answer is, you know, we're not sure how this is going to go. Not, it's probably not going to go well. <laughs> I 
Archie. Archie, I've noticed that you are not present in the chat right now. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, one of my mods, Archie, and uh, one of my other mods, Star, <laughs> they really like, I'll hate them. So, um, you know, I'm just curious. I'm coming from a place of curiosity. I'm like, do you like him because he might be mean to you? That's my question. Just think about it. <laughs> Just consider we it. We all have our jobs to do, after all. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others will fight on the front lines. Mm, makes sense. Hmm. Speaking of the front lines, you don't look anything like a soldier. Well, of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. A feeble but the scholar? the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. <laughs> well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation, and you are a scholar. Okay, I feel like... Okay, hear me out. I feel like I'll hate them as, like... Like, like, out, out here being like, I'm just a feeble scholar, but is, like, flexing his muscle, like, even more. <laughs> I'm imagining that when he said that, he was like extra, like, he was like, I'm just a feeble scholar. Oh, look over there. <laughs> like extra flexing. He's like, look at all the feeble scholars standing around. <laughs> and then like, and then like, the next day, he's like in the gym, like lifting more weights. He's like, I can't just be a feeble scholar. <laughs> he's just like standing there, like, like standing there, like flexing extra hard. Oh, that's great. I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, some will exhibit far more potential than others. Mm -hmm. This guy. Huh. This guy. Hyman still remembers when those mercenaries in Port Ormos called you a lunatic. <laughs> All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. Oh. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, oh. Okay. Hmm. That reminds me. Yes. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. Yes, I remember. You have a good memory. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane, but this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, was never once informed of this. I think... Those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge. But the academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Come to think of it, perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. Mm. The Withering, Elazar, and the Sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? It's definitely possible. Another occurrence of forbidden knowledge pollution. But Paimon thought that Soul's disease is what caused the withering in the sandstorms. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but the dog that I'm watching is like growling in his sleep. <laughs> He's going like... <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. It's very funny. Uh, will, thank you for becoming a member for six months. Will says he will always be a feeble scholar. Look at those noodle arms. Look at those noodle arms. <laughs> Uh, also, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. There are 400 of you here. I want to see 400 likes on this video. <gasps> oh my gosh, there was something else I wanted to tell y'all about, but I'm going to keep going because I'm really trying to stop getting so distracted, but maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I'm so torn. I told y'all that I was not going to stop myself from getting distracted, but I feel like... I feel like sometimes it's too much distraction. <laughs> um, okay. At least, that's what Tainari told us. Wait a second. 
Could it be that? Ah, you've connected the dots. The cause of Soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. Ooh. But if that's the case, what should we do? This is huge! We must tell Nahida about this as soon as possible. Wait. Why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? She said the key to saving Soul is contained within the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata. You mean... It's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole, the world forget me thing? Hmm. In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Ermansoul can we completely resolve the problem Sumeru currently faces. That's right. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? to an Aramite base. Okay. So. Okay. 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 So. My brother, Isaac, who was just here, uh, sent me a, uh, a video. We were talking about Pokemon. And so he sent me a video that someone had uploaded to their YouTube. Uh, the streamer and the streamer had this super cool thing and i don't know if it's like from the stream or like edited later but i think it's from the stream because he was reacting to it where chat the chat like some of the chat was voice to speech so it was like out loud like speaking i don't think we could do that for this because a i don't know how and i don't think i'll be technologically advanced enough to learn and also that could get really really chaotic yeah text to speech that's what I meant to say I think I said voice to speech but I meant text to speech um and uh <laughs> I don't think we could do that here I feel like it would be too chaotic but um it was so cool and it was really funny the video was very funny I don't remember the name of the streamer but I could I could look it up right now if y'all are like really interested but um, probably it's too chaotic for us, but I, like, wanted to know more about how, how they did that because I was like, how do you control, like, what if, I don't know, what if someone does something, like, that you don't want said out loud? I don't know. Uh, but, um, but yeah. It was, it was really cool. And I was like, is this live? I was like, I was astonished. It was a very funny video though. Erica does text to speech for higher tier donations. She does on YouTube. No way. No way. It was not that person that you're saying. I don't think. Let me check. Boop, 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 boop. This person. Hold on. What is this person called? This person. I'm looking it up. Sorry. This person is called Point Crow. Point Crow had a very funny video that I watched. Um, hmm, well, maybe we'll have to, uh, I've only seen one video. It was an edited video, but it was very funny, and the music was funny. Um, and, and, and I saw the text, the voice, the text, to I keep saying voice to speech, but it's text to speech. If I say voice to speech, y'all know I mean text to speech. <laughs> Um, uh, so yeah, 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 I saw that and I was like, what if we did that? Elise, thank you for becoming a member for one month. Elise says, I just discovered I can write a highlight message. Ooh, yeah, if we could have text to speech, that would be cool. I have talked to the mods about, I have talked to the mods about it. 
I've talked to the mods about it. I'm just worried. Here's the thing. Honesty circle right now between you and me. Me and all 450 people here. Sir, cone of honesty. The cone of honesty, okay? We're just going to level with each other right now. Right here, right now. Do you think that if I do a text to speech, it's a donation thing that you have to hit. Do you think people, not necessarily you, viewer, who I'm speaking to, other people maybe, do you think they could keep themselves from telling me what to do 24-7? <laughs> Are all of the comments just going to be telling me how to level up my characters or what I'm doing wrong? Be honest with yourselves and with me. Do you think... Do you think we could keep it away from that? <laughs> That's true. That's true. I guess if you're paying for it, then maybe you get the option of telling me what to do. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I forgot the way I asked the question. So when you're saying no, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I forgot how I asked the question. Y'all are like, no, <laughs> like, no what? <laughs> I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> no, what? <laughs> no, people won't tell me what to do, or no, people will be good and will not tell me what to do. <laughs> okay. y'all were like no <laughs> I was like what does that mean <laughs> I already forgot <laughs> what I said <laughs> okay okay well now that we've discussed it as a group <laughs> now that we've discussed it all together maybe we'll have to make this happen hmm Okay, 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 okay. Maybe we'll have to make this up. I have to talk to the mods. Because what if it's like super chaotic, you know? Maybe we'll do it for like special streams. Ooh, I like that idea. Maybe we'll do it for like special streams. But not like everything. Maybe not like story stuff. Because if we do it during story stuff, we might like miss things. Although I do understand that we're supposed to be doing story stuff right now and all I'm doing is talking. So we are going to move on. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe like members only. I don't know, we'll talk, we'll talk. Me and the mods, we'll figure it out. It's probably a lot of pressure on the mods to help me make decisions. Huh. They're here. Huh? What are they doing here? I gave them some technical work to do. Ah, oh, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? I'll hate them. Hank, I need you to stop acting suspicious. I need you to act like you're on our side. Okay? 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 I trust you. I trust you, but you are constantly acting suspicious. It's like, I know you're on my team. Stop being so sus. Like, just a little bit less. How's the work going? Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with what those? What are you doing? Look here. Uh, huh? M more kid knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff in 
to her head again? What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Hyman's a little scared, but very, very furious! Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting response. Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. That's an interesting response. As I response. mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with... Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Huh? Me? Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes, I do. What I may lack in faith, I'll make up with my actions. But we're gonna choose. Yes, I do. Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. Now, please get ready and put on this device. You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. Uh, Paimon is still really worried. I understand. But trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say. Because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. Um... I'm gonna say... I'm ready. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan what is to happening? successfully rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Um, sure. Okay. Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. It's done. What a fascinating experience. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? I'm fine. It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Wait a minute! What do you mean this was in the live stream? the special program <laughs> what part of it what what part of it was in the special program which part which Okay. Mm-hmm. When he said, oh, we've changed Sumeru's whole political landscape. Okay. Uh-huh. I remember that. Okay, I remember the things I talked about. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have mm -hmm. long relied on the Akasha. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Okay, it was a long time ago, okay? You know what I mean? A lot has happened since from then till now. I'm just saying. Oh wait, I didn't do that special program. Wait! Y'all! Y'all! It wasn't even in the special program I was in! I knew it! I knew it! It was in the one before the one I was in. Is what a couple people have said. And I'm going to choose to believe that. I'm going to choose to believe that that is true. So. <laughs> Not y'all lying to me. 
Not you lying to me. Wow, 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 wow. Also, Orange, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Orange says, when you talk as Lumine, I get goosebumps. That makes me so happy to hear. I love being able to read the in-game lines in uh, Lumine's voice. So, uh, wow, 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 wow. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born. And this device has always supported you during times of need. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Uh, hmm. A fool? A machine? A slave to orders. And that's why rules are so that's important. Harsh. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Identify the gray areas. You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very interesting. One might even say they're advantageous in the right hand. Hank! Uh... Things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Samaro scholars like this? Again, Hank, it feels like you're saying things in a really suspicious way that makes you seem kind of evil. So just like, maybe just like consider saying things in a less evil tone <laughs> anyway that's enough chit chat i'm going to take those two to work on some small projects you can head to caravan rebot and start preparing for the next step small projects we're going to tinker with the akasha terminal and make a few modifications Grace, Grace just said, hope I'm not too late. And then someone else in the chat said, nope, she's barely started. I've been an hour in. I'm an hour into the la to the stream. <laughs> she's barely started. Okay, you're not wrong. You're not incorrect. <laughs> okay. Just, uh, but just calling me out. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I don't, I'm not upset. Whoever said that, please don't feel like I'm upset. I think it's funny. Okay, here we go. I just thought it was funny. We barely started. <laughs> I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you go back on your word? The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought. And in the end, I still can't agree to it. But it's still the best plan we have. <sighs> As a former Matra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. <sighs> Ahitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Huh? What? Why are you guys arguing? What's happening? My friend, you're just in time. Why don't you help me persuade Sino? He's turned against our plan. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment, so you'll take care of the specifics. But then, you went to Al Haytham for suggestions. Had I known Al Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here, don't you? Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. <sighs> I'm sorry, but as things stand, I can't accept your principles. Okay, okay, okay. I just have to say, I really like... Sino as a character. Also, I think it's hilarious the way he says El Haytham's name like it's a bad word. <laughs> He's like Al Haytham. <laughs> but I really like Sino because I feel like Sino is a character who is really struggling a lot with like doing the right thing thing and 
being like how do i even say this like i feel like i feel like sino cares about getting the results but is like like struggling because he feels like it should be done in a certain way like like following his principles but like he can't like he has to go against the people that he's sworn he has to go against the academia because they're you know what i mean like i like i like the internal struggle of like lo yeah exactly like loyalty versus principles and i kind of that's a very interesting i feel like that's a, as as an actor i feel like that's such an interesting dynamic to play with because it's like just because something feels like it should be right or just because something would be would get him to the goal that he knows he wants to get to it doesn't mean that it's the right path for him because he still has loyalty to all these other people and also he's thinking about like maybe all the people that the academia has hurt i don't know i find it very interesting i find it very interesting i hope we learn more about sino I feel like we haven't learned everything there is to learn. Probably that's the same is true for Alhaven. And I think Alhaven is very interesting as well. But I feel like Sino, I feel like everybody maybe overlooks Sino because <laughs> everyone's thirsting for Alhaven. <laughs> Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. Traveler, Paimon, this is also something you should know. Rahman's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards, in my capacity as a Matra. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Hmm. Wait! How can we work with the guards? We can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Reebok would never let so many unregistered members of the Aramites enter Sumeru City. My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion, and also let us enter the city as a big group. There is no better way. That also sounds like something Al Haytham told you. <laughs> Am I right? Doesn't Al Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? I'm confused about why. Of it's course dangerous. he does. He told me there is no perfect plan, but this can get the job done. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. Yikes. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. I think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the guards. To make the whole thing more convincing, You'll need to resist to some degree. Casualties are inevitable once push comes to shove. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies. But now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. I'm okay with some people's <laughs> deaths. Wow. I can't wow, believe wow, wow. a Matro would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. They have the right to know important things like this. Now oh, you're making this hard for me. Hey, is there something we can do to help? If there's no other way, I can help. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I knew you would say that. Hmm. We can help some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. We should respect the determination of Rahman and his comrades. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. We strongly value the lives of our friends, but the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. We have no fear of casualties, because we crave the spoils of victory. So please, lend us your support. We will show you the determination of us desert dwellers. Well, now that you've put it that way, I can no longer refuse. But remember, 
You need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Candace made it very clear that we can only achieve our goals if we can ensure our safety. Since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendro Archon and those of King Deshret. Everyone's life is equally important. Okay, you have a deal. Let's do this for our shared dream. Aw, they're working together! The guards should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. You can find them there. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go. The guards are gonna pretend to arrest us, or they're gonna arrest us, but it's fake. It's just to get us in there. Let's go to the courtyard. Do, do, do. Guards! General Mahamatra! To, to what do we owe the honor? Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sino's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. But who exactly are you planning to arrest, and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. They're a squad of Aramites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein al Ahmar? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible, and treat it as a top priority desert operation. I will need personnel. Got it! Please wait a moment, I'll contact them immediately. You look so commanding when you're working. Because this is work. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was really good. We're like, you look so commanding when you're when you're working. And Sino's like, yeah. Cause I am working. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> You're much more friendly to us. Because I trust you. Aww. Aww. I can't believe you're still in the mood to chat. This whole thing has Paimon scared stiff. Aren't you That's even sweet. a little worried? What if these guards already know that you have betrayed the academia and are no longer their general Mahamatra? Even if that guard doesn't know, their superiors might, right? Hard to say. We discussed this, remember? The caravan rebot operation is of great importance. But don't worry. The guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. How can you be so sure? First, the other Matras still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God creation plan. If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. A reasonable inference. I agree. Which brings us to our next issue. You agree on something! I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. The Akasha is still in operation, so I must remain on high alert. High alert. Actually... Considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. Mm. I've given that a lot of thought. Why are you not For now, ah! I don't think you'll need to worry. If you remember, when you first came to Aru Village, all your actions and roots were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers. But... Things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Hmm. That's true. But why? But why? Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? 
Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. But mine hasn't. That's true. But the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an he existing so logic model. Like... However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? Hmm. Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral principles. Decisive and principled, you were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. Mm. But now, you've joined a team. And I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved themselves together to become a complicated, chaotic mess. Any one of us could potentially disagree with another. The Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. After all, there's probably a limit to just how much we can be modeled or controlled by data. So, in my opinion, you're probably safe for now. Huh, makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. <sighs> Is that so? I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate. And people will not be forever trapped by the past. This is true. Oh, Paimon's so glad that this is settled. Uh. Next time, pay attention during our meetings. Uh, will do. Oh my gosh. I'm confident that we can do this. Just remember to stay vigilant. General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. Whoa! I'm the security officer of the Great Red Sand District. My name is Luxembarbo. Luxembarbo is so tall! <laughs> Luxembarbo looks like eight feet tall. Wow. Is Luxembarbo the tallest person in Genshin? I have, I, I, what is happening? <laughs> Who is this person? <laughs> He's just another feeble scholar. <laughs> this is my assistant, the Traveler. She will be working with me. The construct next to her is for her work. Beep, construct, beep. No! <laughs> what a great honor to meet you. Beep, Your golden that's hair hilarious. is as bright as the sun. And, uh, is this the latest technology from the Academia? Nice to meet you, too. Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? Beep! It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself. There's no need for flattery. That was amazing. That was so wonderful. Uh, yes, sir. Take your most elite platoon and follow me to, to the eastern Karina side of the that district. That was amazing. We will carry out the operation there. Understood. <sighs> map. Hurry, bring the map. That's amazing. In two days, we will engage Ramon's Aramites and capture all of them. Are we just really sure? Any questions I'm so about confused. the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. See you then. Yes, sir. Maybe hanging around the Looks General like Mahamatra the isn't so bad after all. Into that. Everyone's so respectful towards us. 
Yeah, it does feel pretty good. This is all due to the absolute authority of the Academia. How tall is Lumine? And now, we're going to strike back against that massive pillar of power. Get ready. We will move out in two days. Change the time. Ah, nothing's been officially said about character height. That is good to know. Thank you, Xander. But she does look very short. What if she's like actually just like a normal height and then some people into that are just like towering giants? It's time for the operation. Let's go meet Sino in the desert. Let's go meet Sino in the desert. Also, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Also, we're gonna go for about two hours. So wherever we are in the story, we will end. Whenever we get to a good stopping point around the two hour mark, we are gonna stop. So just everybody just know that. Just know that. Just want you to be prepared. Look, over there, our helpers have arrived already. Let's hurry over. Wait a moment. What? You're my assistant, remember? Yes, I remember. Being my assistant, you must stay with me. Now let's head over there. Okay, Sino, we'll stay with you. It's General Mahamatra and his assistants. We meet again. Huh. You're here early. It's to show how important we think the operation is. Since this is a big case for the Academia, we are prepared to give it our best. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. Remember, we must capture them alive. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, we will be unable to continue the investigation. Understood. Everyone! The Aramites are approaching from the west! Uh, Make okay. preparations and be ready for combat! Okay, I feel like if this was a real operation, the shouting would need to be brought down a level. So I'm just saying that you know, I'm just like, Lux and Barbo, like, you know, just like, maybe we're going to be more quiet. Maybe we're not shouting. Maybe we're not like, they're approaching. No, it's a operation. They don't know we're coming. So maybe let's like lower the volume. And I know, and I know what you're going to say, chat. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're thinking to yourselves right now. You're thinking to yourselves, Sarah? Sarah's telling people to be quiet? Sarah? Sarah's saying not to shout? I know. I hear you, and I recognize that I'm probably not the person to say that. I'm probably not the right person to talk about volume. I know that. Okay. I also recently discovered when I've been making videos with Erica that when I'm wearing headphones, I am potentially screaming <laughs> all the time. So I understand that I'm not a good example. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I recognize that, you know, when I don't have my headphones on, maybe I'm quieter. <laughs> I recognize that I had to put a limiter on my microphone so that I wouldn't break everyone's ears. <laughs> okay. Halt! Oh, what a warm welcome. What do you want? Fight! 
Judging fight, from fight. those shiny weapons in your hands, it seems like you're not interested in a deal. Fight, fight, Rama, fight. The Academia has caught wind of your fight, smuggling fight, and illicit fight, fight. sales. If you value your life, I advise you to surrender. Who are you supposed to be? That's my sword. The Matra from the Academia? <laughs> I can't believe you came all this way just to catch us. I'm not here to talk. Oh. Nobody's given me this much Fight. time of day since I became a mercenary. Brothers! For that slight, let's wash our blades with their blood. Let's wash our let's blades with their Let's show them we Eremites are not to be messed with. Who am I fighting? You? Oh. Dawn, break forth! I feel like I shouldn't, maybe. I feel like I'm killing people. Propagate! Order guide you. Order guide you. Scatter. Scatter. subdued them. The operation is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. Ah, you pitiful Dendro Archon dogs! You'll regret this! <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. King Jeshred will curse you, and you will all! Silence! Oh, uh... Restrain them and take Silence. them back to Caravan Rebot. Count their numbers and send them to the Academia as instructed by the General Mahamatra. Yes, sir! Mahamatra Sino, I will now take my leave. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and ask for me. Understood. You are dismissed. Goodbye. There they go. Let's talk elsewhere. Okay. This part of the plan went really well. Yes, things went perfectly. That's fantastic! Yay! That punch you gave Rum on there sure looked convincing enough. Wait, he punched him? What? Wait, I did not understand that. I, what? He was talking and then said, it was like, be quiet. But then, no, but then he said, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> was that before he got knocked out? I'm so confused. He spoke. I swear he spoke after the black screen. Oh. Oh, he was pretending to get knocked out. Oh, it was a stage punch. It was like, and then he was like, oh, oh no. Cause he walked away. He's he walked away looking mad, so he's not passed out. So maybe Sino punched him, and he was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> Sino was like, 
And then, and then, uh, Ramon was like, ah, that hurts. <laughs> Owie, I don't like it. <laughs> What do we think? Is that what happened? I feel like that's what happened. He was like, Ow! Don't do it again! <laughs> Ouchie! <laughs> beep, beep! Boop! <laughs> he like immediately starts pretending to be, to be, uh, um, to be a, a robot. Boop, boop, beep. <laughs> Ouch, Charlie, that hurt. <laughs> Charlie bit me. <laughs> Raman, Raman's like, I totally forgot about Charlie bit me until someone in the chat said that. Oh my gosh. Ouch. That hurt. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee the group's transport. I promise. I'll get everyone into Sumeru City safely. Y'all are so funny. This is why I love streaming. I have to be honest, this is why I love streaming. <laughs> Y'all have the funniest things that you say. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, owie wowie. <laughs> owie wowie. <sighs> so good. So good. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Y'all are so funny. Seriously, I would not have streamed this long or even honestly have played Genshin this long without y'all. <laughs> uh, because I love streaming and like, I don't know, it feels like hanging out with people and then y'all have the funniest things that you say. It's so great. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I'm gonna say, thank you, Sino. Yeah, you're the reason why everything went so well. <sighs> it's not the time to celebrate yet. Hmm. I believe Dia should already be waiting for you. Go join up with her. She will need you to introduce her to Tainari. Tainari! Is it really okay for us not to share the full plan with Tainari? What if he'll feel miffed about it and refuse to work with us? I'm a little worried about that, too. I have a very close relationship with Tainari. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone should be enough to bring him to our side. He knows I won't make jokes about things like this. If we need help, Tainari is the best option. Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Don't keep them waiting. <laughs> to do that. Dia! We're here! <laughs> it's about time. Didn't you say our part of the plan is the most important of all? <laughs> and here you come rolling in late. In the time it took you to get here, I already did five laps around the place, down seven drinks, and even did some clothes shopping. Uh, sorry. We didn't mean to keep you waiting. <laughs> I just wanted to fix your attitude and rub it in a little. After all, you took your sweet time getting here, and we've got important stuff to take care of. Sorry the situation. No. 
that's not how this sentence goes. I'm gonna say, um, sorry, the situation was a bit tricky. <laughs> I just like seeing that serious look on your face. All right, I'll stop. All joking aside, I'm glad you're here. Let's get moving and take care of this as soon as possible. Uh, but where should we start? Our responsibility is to get a status update on the Fatui Harbinger known as the Doctor. We need to make sure he won't get in our way when we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dealing with an institution that controls all of Sumeru is already hard enough. If the Doctor were to crash the party, it would be next to impossible for us to achieve our goals. Yeah, we sure don't want him showing up. Ooh, he really gives Pyme on the creeps. Yeah. Right? Hearing his name just reminds me of those stuffy old geezers in the academia. I'd rather not have to deal with someone like that. So, what should we do? According to the plan, we should first go to Pardis D.I. and ask for Forest Watcher Tainari. If all Haytham and Sino's sources are solid, then we can be sure that Tainari still has the Academia's trust. So, we'll find Tainari and convince him to get us the latest intel on the Doctor. Then, depending on what we learn, we'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. I feel like the Sages have placed spies everywhere on, on the other side. side of the wall. I'll follow you as a bodyguard. I didn't expect you to become my bodyguard. <laughs> you should be honored. I don't offer my services to just anyone you know. But Paimon thought mercenaries would do anything for Mora. That's certainly true. But when multiple employers are vying for your services, you should always go with the best offer. Hmm, let's see. If I were to charge you a bill, I guess I can apply a discount. Uh, how much more do you want? A discount? How You're the one who offered to do it. it. It should be free. Hmm, how much do I want? Hey, how about paying me with a smile? Aww. What do you say? I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Come on, give me a smile so that I can be less worried. <laughs> Thank you, Dia. <laughs> Looking good. Aww. I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. That's so nice! There are many kinds of smiles, but only a truly joyous one can bring blessings to others. Let's consider this smile a down payment for our future victory. Let's okay. go. It's time to pay a visit to Party's DI. Let's do it! Okay. I feel like Tainari's gonna help us. I feel like Tainari likes us, and he's gonna help us. Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna help us. Ah! It'll be great. He's over there! Let's go say hi! Tainari! Tainari! We missed you! Ah, Traveler Paimon. And you are? <laughs> Long time no see. Hey there. This is our friend Dia. She's an Aramite mercenary. A mercenary? Hmm, you must have some big news for me. Tainari, we want to ask you about something. It's something really important. Please help us out. All right, then follow me. This place is better. We won't be disturbed by any passerby. Okay. What is this important thing you want to ask me? Have you ever met the doctor? I want to know where he is. The doctor, huh? He's that strange looking Fatui Harbinger with the mask. Paimon thinks he has blue hair. Yes, I know him. Uh, actually, he left Party's DI just a little while ago. <sighs> he left already? Yeah, he came looking for me. Can I ask what it was about? Sorry to ask you like this after having just met, but your answer is very important to us. For now, all we can share with you is that your friend Sino is working with us. 
Sino, you say? Hmm. Hmm. I see. So that's why he hasn't been at the academia. Okay. I will answer your questions and will assist you any way I can. You don't have to tell me everything that's happened. <laughs> Sino's name really does Sinari work wonders. Sinari is such You're a good friend. A I knew he would come through for made us. It all up. Despite having just met you, I can sense that you're the serious type. Between you, the Traveler, and Sino, none of you strike me as the type that would conspire to deceive me. You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. I'll also get straight to the point. The Harbinger you mentioned came to me because he wanted to take the scholar Hypasia away with him. No. Hypasia? Why would he want her? What is he after? And what do you mean by take away? Is he planning to leave Sumeru? Yes. He told me his return to Snezhnaya is imminent. <sighs> so you mean... You're leaving this place soon? Indeed. Otherwise we could have perhaps talked a little more. I was just about to set out when I remembered something important. To that end, I made a final trip to Pardis Di. Let me ask, have you been taking care of a scholar by the name of Hapasia? Your sources are accurate. No doubt because you recruited many informants. But you're right. Hapasia has indeed been receiving treatment from me. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming <laughs> along? Tainari is so sad. Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. Since you asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hapasia to Snezhnaya. <sighs> it's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? Oh? I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me, to the point of even questioning my general level of knowledge. How unbefitting. Well, you're the only one who's ever made such a request. I have my ways of keeping her safe during the journey. Is so sassy! In addition, sassy. I can also promise that under my care, Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. I will personally supervise her treatment and see to her recovery. Would that be agreeable to you? Hapasia was born in Sumeru and remains a scholar of the Academia. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. Transporting her to Snezhnaya is risky, and the potential benefits are unknown. As the person currently responsible for her treatment, I cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Good for you, Tainari! Your suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. <gasps> oh my gosh! That is amazing! Your suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. That is amazing! That is amazing! Tainari, we love you. I don't know much about the doctor, but after talking with him, I realized that, just like many other scholars, he possesses an aura of arrogance that I've come to detest. It's not so much that he's looking down on others, but more that he's so confident in himself and his abilities, to a point of near insanity. That's right, Tainari. I would never refer a patient to someone like him. Do you think he'll just give up on her? I prepared myself for a protracted battle of wits and was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic. Still, his reaction really concerned me. <laughs> awkward silence. I see, I see. Of course, your opinion makes perfect sense. <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. What with Her Most Noble Majesty, the Tsaritsa, calling for our return. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. It's just as the Academia said, you're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, even with all of that, you're still lacking a bit of shrewdness. 
And that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. Ooh. Creepy. can't help but feel like he's hinting at something unpleasant. He asked a question, yet didn't care for my answer. Perhaps I'm nothing but a talking rock in his eyes. He never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated throughout our conversation. From his tone, I can sense that he's always looked down on others. <sighs> I can't believe he's actually leaving Sumeru. I can barely believe it myself. But if that's true, the situation will be in our favor. I don't think I missed any details. Frankly speaking, I don't want you to do anything too risky. Now that you know a little more, it should be easier for you to stay safe. Thank you for sharing the information with us, Tainari. Sorry we can't tell you everything. We appreciate that you helped us anyway. I won't forget your kindness. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. To be perfectly honest, all of this may have started because of me. Recently, my master wrote several letters to me, asking me to return to the academia and assist him with his research. Hasn't he already asked you several times before? Yes, but... There's something off about this most recent batch of letters. The handwriting and tone are both familiar, but some details have been omitted. My master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One dot means that he wrote the letter on a sunny day, and three dots stand for a rainy day. This has been a habit of his for many years, but I didn't find any dots in his recent letters. I believe something may have happened to him. I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, you would like me, someone already working at the Academia, to investigate this matter, right? I'd like to ask you to do that for me. If you can keep yourself safe, please withdraw immediately at the first hint of danger. Aww. I can do that, but I have a feeling it won't be that simple. The Academia has been working on a big project. I'm not quite sure what it is, but your I master like might friendship. be involved with it. Hmm. If the higher ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. If the situation becomes critical, I'll leave the academia. If you don't see me there for an extended period, that's your cue. All right, we've got a plan. I'll stay at Gundarvaville to support you. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant mm -hmm. and be wary of any messages or direct requests from the Academia. I must say, I didn't expect a warning like this from the General Mahamatra. Being loyal to the Academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the Sages say. This is true. I know what I'm doing. On that note, aren't you also being quite distrustful of your alma mater? The Academia, yes, but my master is a man of integrity. Even when I was a student, I was worried he'd get in trouble for sticking to his beliefs. I suppose he's lucky to have lasted so long. But in the end, it's still caught up to him. I see. So you noticed something was up with the Academia from the very beginning. This may well be how Sino became involved in all this. Hmm. In that case, I must keep my promise and help you however I can. Aw, thanks! Also, if you run into Sino again, please help me pass on a message to him. Trust your own senses and experiences. Okay. I think this may be something he needs to hear right now. Okay, we'll find a chance to tell him. We'll tell him. Thanks. Right. Now let's go hunt down this Harbinger. Oh, by the way, which way did the doctor go when he left Pardis D.I.? That way. Gotcha. Thanks so much. 
We'll be on our way. Um, okay. Say. See you later. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. I feel like... According to Tainari, oh. the doctor is leaving Sumeru soon. I want to check if the doctor was actually telling the truth. Um, okay. He also said that he'll take care of everything before he leaves. What did he mean by that? We need to be extra careful when dealing with a person like him. Just to be safe, let's chase him and see what we find. But we have no idea where he went! How can we start chasing him? We'll do it the mercenary way. I'll find leads as we go. All you have to do is just follow me. <laughs> that harbinger may have tried to cover his trail. Oh no! But he still left some traces. Or perhaps he never even thought about concealing his whereabouts. Maybe that's just uh, how arrogant he really is. Wait, is this like all connected mods, or will we be able yep. to stop? We're headed in the after right this? direction. Hmm, the traces are still fresh, but there's no sign of his entourage. Clearly, they're in a hurry. Hmm, it's just as I thought. <sighs> it's just <sighs> as I thought. We can stop here. I think I know where the doctor went. To the south of here is Port Ormos, which seems to be where they're headed. Port Ormos? They're going to leave by boat? That's right. Let's go to the port and have a look for ourselves. Okay. Yay! Okay, so... This, I think, is a good stopping point. Right, mods? No. What's that? No. I don't want to. No. Ah! Uh, um... No! <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Run away! <laughs> okay. Uh, we are going to stop the story here. But I am going to um, do my commissions and then we'll end the stream. If that works for everybody. If that works for everybody! Dun 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 dun. I am just looking for my commissions. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We will be doing Lantern Right next week. So if you want to see Lantern Right, you should come hang out next week. Wait, Xander, I thought you were saying I should stop there. Should I go back? Did I stop in the middle of something? But I don't want to. It Honey, tastes gross. Yeah. Was it not a good play? But I shouldn't keep going. place to stop okay perfect i think i already logged in i think i did it while i was live let me know if i did not do that chat but i think if you were here oh no it's okay if there's a little overlap i'm not too worried about it oh no i have to go this way the right way what is happening 
I am not going the right way. That's okay. I think it's okay. We might have to backtrack a little bit, but I think that's okay. It's always good to have some reminders because we're not going to be doing this next week. We're going to be waiting another week in between. So it'll be good to have a little bit of a redo, I think. Hopefully I'll agree. Yeah. This is order. This is order. <sighs> Time for takeoff. Oh man. I was hoping that it would get that guy in there, but it didn't. Oh man. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> How do I aim? Aim. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Back up. Back up. Okay. Yeah. I knocked him off. Yeah. Enemy reinforcements coming. Two more commissions. <laughs> Two more commissions. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, you do actually have to be subscribed to chat, but you only have to be subscribed for one minute and it's free. Subscribing is free. Uh, oh, I'm gonna drown. No! Ah! <laughs> Order guide you. Order guide you. Think you can get away? Germinate! Germinate! Oh no, more enemy re- Oh no! Quake! Not good! Don't have anything that's very good against this! Ah! I will have order! Okay, okay, okay. No! Where? How? How did that happen? I don't know. But it was good. Okay. There we go for the last one. Oh, he drowned. Oh, that's not great. Oh, I like this one. Boop. Yeah. 
to the wicked! <laughs> Maybe they're okay. Ah! They're not okay! Nothing is okay! Oh no. Oh no. Do something, Jean Lee! This is Okay. Solidify. Okay, thank you. Goodbye! Please leave! Understand. I understand. I was not supposed to protect it. I am supposed to destroy it. I understand. This is fine. Okay, this is fine. I thought I was protecting it, but I needed to destroy it. This is fine. That's fine. Oop, 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 oop. I was confused. I can't go there. No, I can't. No, I can't. Will that make the lantern right happen? I'm just going to go to Inazuma to turn in my commissions. So that I don't accidentally... I think it was in Leah, though. Add Astra Applesauce. Add extra applesauce. Thank you for complete... Add extra Add extra applesauce. Oh yeah. Ah! Doop 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 doop. Yay! Gifting five memberships! Everybody say, thank you, Kramit. I am looking for a place to cook. Before we 
end the stream, I want to cook my food because I will forget. And people will be mad at me if I forget. No, I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you, Cramon, for the memberships. Do, 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 do. Na, na, na. What else do I need to cook? I think that's it. Okay, we are gonna go to Sumeru to end the story or to end the stream. Um, thank y'all for hanging out. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. I feel like it was very chaotic, but in a good way. And, uh, I want to say thank you to my mods. Thank you to Xander and Crammon and Diamond and Crisp and Crazy and Brandon and Archie. Thank you, thank you to my mods. Y'all are wonderful. Uh, please, if you haven't already, uh, follow me on Twitter and Join the Discord server. That is where I post my upcoming streams and other things like conventions and things like that. Um, the best of 2022 video is coming, hopefully soon. Uh, the dream is to have it done and for our watch party to be before the end of January, so we will see. I have to talk to my mods about that. Um, the next stream will be next Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. We will be doing the Ran Lantern Rite Festival. I almost said Ranturn Rite Festival, but it's the Lantern Rite Festival. <laughs> um, so if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Uh, if we ever hit 100K, there are some fun things that will happen then. And if we hit 75K, we will do a Fall Guys stream where y'all get to play with me. Y'all get to play Fall Guys. Um, it's free now, so everyone should be able to join who wants to. Uh, so yeah. Thank you, Penguin Frog, for renewing your membership. Thank you, thank you. So, yes, yes, yes. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Tell your friends to like and subscribe. <laughs> Tell everybody you know. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, yay! Okay, I'm going to mute this. We are ending the stream. Uh, again, keep an eye out for the best of 2022 video announcement. That will be happening soon. And then um, hopefully next month, some more reaction videos. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. I hope that you have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are. Thank you to everybody who super chatted, who renewed their membership, and uh, who was here. Thank you, thank you. All right, bye everyone. Thank you for hanging out, everyone. I hope that you have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Okay, leave. Okay, bye. <laughs>